Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is a very messy yet very entertaining popcorn movie. It's a film with a lot of great aspects and a lot of bad aspects about it. Let's start with the great aspects of it. I love that it's very horror inspired and having Sam Raimi at the helm actually gives the film an identity, not only in its storytelling but its visuals with a lot of signature shots seen in his other comic book movies, most notably in his Spider-Man trilogy, which oddly enough is celebrating its 20th anniversary. Supporting Raimi's style is also a very good story with a good pool of characters that mesh well with each other, just as good as every other Marvel movie. Now for the cons in the movie, well there's a decent amount of them. First, as with a lot of Marvel movies, the pacing in the first half is passable at best, with very awkward stitching of scenes and dialogue. Speaking about the first half, the CGI is pretty bad as well, especially on those out of work creatures. And overall, I absolutely hate the blue screen effect that a lot of these big budget movies have, which is something that was heavily noticeable in its pandemic era movies, which this one falls under. This should hopefully be fixed in the future, i.e. Thor Love and Thunder, since Marvel is starting to adopt the visual technology used in both the Batman and the Mandalorian, which both look stunning by the way, and from the trailer, as does Thor Love and Thunder. At the very least, after the pretty mediocre first half, the story picks up and the horror intensifies making a very good horror flick. Overall, I'm feeling a 7 out of 10 on this. A lot of great stuff, but again, a lot of mediocre aspects and problems that most Marvel films have. But at the end of the day, it's pretty good.